there might be times you want to make your liquid soap at home but you don't have all the uh, chemicals at home like all the seven to ten chemicals that we use in liquid soap production so this is me telling you you can use very few chemicals make your liquid soap and have a very good outcome just like you see in this video so for this particular soap um, production i use just four chemicals in fact let me say three because you have one that you don't need to buy so the first thing is to add uh, water into your mixing bowl and the total quantity of water we are using is five liters then the next chemical we are going to measure is our soda ash and for our soda ash we are going to measure just 70 grams of soda ash so you can use anything from 70 to 100 grams but for this particular production i use 70 grams so out of that water i would take out about one and a half liters into another bowl to dissolve my soda ash soda ash will act as a cleansing agent in this our soap production so add it let it dissolve stir it very well please whenever you are making liquid soap it is not only for this production but for every other soap production it is very important that you stir and dissolve every chemicals that need to be dissolved properly before you start adding them together if not your liquid soap might not come out well you can end up having lump some part of the soap might be watery why some will be thick some and the watery part will be down while the thick part will be up a lot of issues can come up if you don't um follow the due process so the next thing we are going to do now is to this um, add our texapon into our water that is after your soda ash might have dissolved and for my texapon i am using 100 gram if you have up to um, 150 gram you can use it i'm using 100 gram because that is what i have at the moment so i use soda ash 70 gram takes upon 100 gram water five liters so add your takes to the water please make sure you mix your takes very well with the water let everything incorporate into the water before you try to move to the next step it is very very important and make sure you buy original takes upon there are fake takes upon in the market i am telling you this because i have been a victim and I made a video on how you can identify fake and original Texapon. So I will drop the link at the comment section, the link to that video, so you can check it. So please make sure you buy your chemicals from trusted vendors. These are some of the things that can affect your um, soap production, not only liquid soap, every production that you are making. So after mixing my Texapon very well, then the next thing is to add our soda ash. Can you see how clean? my soda ash has become it has dissolved and it has totally cooled down please if you are using um caustic soda for any of your liquid soap production allow it to dissolve cool down before you add it fine we are not using it here i'm just telling you if not so that i am um, caustic soda we end up frying every of your other chemical and that might be the end of your production you will not like the outcome of that soap production so guys, after adding it and mixing it very well, we come in with our sulfonic acid. Please, this is sulfonic and not sulfuric. Sulfonic is different from sulfuric. Don't go and make the wrong chemicals together. If today is your first time of coming across my channel, you are mostly welcome. Please do well to join this wonderful family by hitting the subscribe button and putting on your notification bell. And to all my returning subscribers, I sincerely appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my video please do well to like and share this video now for our soda ash it is a cleansing agent for our um sulfonic acid it is a foaming and cleansing agent also then for our texapon it is our foaming agent serve as a foam booster now the next thing we are going to add is our cooking salt <coughs> You heard me right, cooking salt. So for the cooking salt, I will teach you a method by which you can even add salt to your soap without measurement. Now, this is what you have to do. Start taking it spoon by spoon. I'm using the normal spoon we use to eat on the dining table. So I was adding it 
one spoon at a time please after adding a spoon make sure you give it a thorough mixing before you try to add the next one please this is very very important very important so i've seen some people complaining that uh, they try to make the normal three chemical um liquid soup that's sls tesapon and salt and it's not coming out where well. it's not this it's not that probably you added more than the required salt uh to it or you did not mix well before you added the salt to it so there might be a lot of things at that point or maybe the texapon you use is very very bad if you use a fake texapon the soap will form when you are making it but once it gets set to it will turn to water like it will become watery yes so for this production i will add and mix very well so when you add and you you start mixing you start noticing that your um, soap starts to change like the consistency in your hand will start to thicken up please once once the stove uh, soap starts thickening don't stop adding that salt give it a very good mix and leave your soap and allow it to settle now for this production the total quantity of salt i added the, like the total spoon i used five spoon so for your own you might not need up to five spoon depending on the um, brand of salt you are using like do you know this salt there are different brands right so and depending on how good your salt is maybe it has been exposed to air and some part of it is not really active again so it depends on the kind of salt you are using but any brand of salt is okay so keep adding until you get that consistency now i was okay with that and this is my color i've dissolved it somewhere before so i will advise you never to add color and perfume to your soap directly this might affect the alcohol outcome because we have different brands of uh, color and perfume so add your color into another bowl and you can add perfume if you want to add that fragrance then scoop out some portion of that soap into this color then mix it properly before you introduce it back to your main production this is better for you you might have been doing it and you don't have any problem what if you do it and you are not lucky again because you don't even know the brand you are buying. So it's better to um, do it this way, to be on the safe side. So mix it very well, then introduce it back to your soap. When you add it back, please make sure you mix it very, very, very well. This is very important. Mixing well at each stage is very important. So mix it well. And after mixing it, you allow your soap to... Uh, settle down so this is my soap can you see how thick my soap is then this is after like two hours this doesn't take time to get settled at all can you see my soap so i actually use this for um this then uh, dishwashing and mopping of the floor so this is what i use this for so with just these few chemicals that i have at home i have made myself liquid soap i don't have strength to go to the chemical store right away so guys see this uh, the bowl i used in the mixing the color i'm adding water to it for you to see how my um soap lathers so well this is not extremely thick but it cleanses so well and lathers so well thank you so much guys for watching this video to this very end please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share and if you have not subscribed don't forget to subscribe see you in my next tutorial Bye.